God bless, God bless, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right. We're going to open up with prayer, and this is going to be Bible study. So, uh, our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And please do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, y'all need to bear with me because I'm, I'm really annoyed. Alright, and I'm going to leave that alone. <sighs> Smoking, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Now, I asked God a question and I said, God, there's things that like I need. There's things that I need and like people are being spiteful. People are being evil. People are, are being wicked. And like these are things that I need. Not things I want. Things that I need. And um, here, here, here's, here's one example. How was it that I worked a job, right? And I invested my time there, right? And you expect to get paid. And I found a solution because that's one of my jobs. That's one of my specialties. So how are you going to tell me? But I, but they're still going to withhold my paycheck. Like I need funds, right? You need money. And I'm like, God, I need things. Then come again. You know, there's so many roadblocks where, hey, I'm inquiring about this. You're the source. And it's like, no, you can't just say no, like by law. You have to do X, Y, and Z. No. And it's just, okay, all right, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to let it be. So I, I brought it to God, right? Vengeance belongs to the Lord. And, and you got to understand that when I'm a prophet and the Lord sends me somewhere, he's testing you. He, I know I walk in the right. I know that I, I'm going to do everything I can, right, to make sure that that in due time everything is correct, right? And guess what? We're in 2023 and some of this older generation, some of this older generation did not adapt. That's for damn sure. Mm. So I took it to God. So instead of being stressed out, the Lord, he's, he's, he's so good. The Lord is so good. Instead of being stressed out and being frustrated, right, with all the roadblocks that people are purposely putting in. Oh, you're too young. Oh, you don't deserve it. Oh, because I feel like it. That's a spirit. That's an evil spirit. A spirit that's stopping your money flow. A spirit that when you come with a solution, they reject the solution because they want nothing but smoke. They want nothing but problems. And this is what the Lord said. When I, I took it to God, like, God, what do you want me to do? Let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Look at that. Let the dead bury, let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. All right. All right, Lord. And the Lord did give me revelation and he gave me visions that I have yet to reveal, but I am now allowed to reveal them to you. He just told me, go preach the kingdom of God, go preach the gospel, right? So, and not only that, these people... The other thing that the Lord said is, But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Right? And your, your, your temple, your body is supposed to be a holy city. These people aren't holy. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom. Right? What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? You're going to get yours. So... If that, if, if that was my instruction from God, go go preach the kingdom of God. Go preach the gospel. Let the dead bury their dead. And I was already warned. Some of these people have demons on them. Like, you can't get too close. So, here it goes. When God sends me somewhere, when God sends me somewhere, like I said, as a prophet, when God sends me somewhere, you don't know, 
you don't you don't know that that regular person that is sitting next to you they might be quiet right they they might be uh on their phone like minding their business you don't know who you're sitting next to. You don't know who you're talking to. And sometimes, right, you know when you're talking to someone of importance. But God, God is, God's hand is on my life and he's watching. If God sends me somewhere and I ask something of you, it's either because God has given you that capacity, that capability. God has given you the resources and it's it's like uh you knew that you could have done something and you didn't or you knew you were supposed to release something and you didn't Every, you have no idea what's about to come to you dust off your feet keep walking so it says here then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another for what they did to you, for what they're doing to me. Here comes that Jesus girl. Oh, here comes. She thinks she's so holy, she's so mighty, she's so great. I am. I'm already dead. You can't kill what's already dead. <laughs> I'm risen in Christ. Amen. Glory to God. They shall deliver you up to be afflicted, right? Some people want want some people want someone to hurt. Some people want someone to step on. Some people want someone to 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 be above. And little do you know like you know, I could do your job, your job and your job and your job. All of it put put together in less than 48 hours maybe even less than 24 hours you want, you want to bet on that and don't don't sit here and think oh i'm going to i'm going to show you the way and kill time no put it down on paper let me read it leave me alone i work best on my own this is exactly why like there, there's an independence in, in ceos right in caos in, in coos there, there's a when, when someone's the president they're the leader they lead the pack you don't have time for ff games you only need the resources let me work my magic let me do what i do best amen but some people can't stand that kind of greatness some people can't stand that kind of glory so guess what then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted in an attempt to what and shall kill you the devil comes what? Steal, kill, destroy. To cause confusion. To cause roadblocks. To cause delays. And guess guess what happens when like. When someone afflicts you. And they put a stumbling block. With their nasty petty selves. And then all of a sudden they see you prospering. They see you doing better. They see that it, it really had almost no effect. This is exactly why God doesn't want you to give this kind of energy, right? God wants you to be happy, to be at peace. Go go and preach the kingdom of God. You're not about to sit here on the computer. I'm going to handle it. And be this angry and this frustrated. Go, right? So being obedient to God, if God said he's going to handle it, then go and preach the kingdom. And ye shall be hated of all nations, of all peoples, of all different types. Whoever doesn't have a covenant with the Lord, who doesn't understand this kind of greatness, this kind of glory, this kind of calling, right? It's not everyone's calling. It's my calling. Amen. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then, there's more, and then. And then many shall be offended. Right? Blessed is he who is not offended by me. You're blessed. You're blessed that my light doesn't irritate you. Glory to God. You're blessed that you're not offended by my presence. You're you're blessed to know that that you know how to how to take a seat back when it's not time for you to be on stage. You're blessed when you know that you gotta take a seat and clap for others, right? Blessed is he who is who <laughs> 
Blessed is he who's, who is not offended by me. You know, no one has a problem when this is exactly like the scenario I'm getting now. Wow. <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> Glory to God. Wow. It's like when you pay tickets to go see a show, right? And you're going to take a seat. You don't complain about the performance you're about to see, right? You're, you're not going to complain about the performance you're about to see. You, you, you grab your ticket, right? You pay for your ticket. You take your seat. And it's something that you look forward to. That's exactly the scenario I'm getting now. And you're not offended. But I guess maybe it's the level of, it's, it's, there's a, they were not expecting. They were not expecting to be in the presence of greatness. They were not expecting to be in the presence of a prophet. They were not expecting to be in the presence of someone who holds such a beauty. They were not, you know, they were not expecting someone to be so smart, intelligent, you know, capable. Someone who is so driven, ambitious. They were not expecting all those qualities. Now they're offended. Wow, Holy Spirit, to give, to give me that analogy. Blessed are you. And, and here, for you know, God gave me, when I first started preaching and I was having like about 250,000 views, 100,000 views, an, another hitter, another hitter. Just every time I dropped a video, it was just on the up and up before, before I was, you know, extorted, before, before Satan inflicted me. Uh, before all the lies and slander and defamation started and I really had these companies calling out to me saying we want you to be an inspirational speaker you know uh, can, can we get you on our team and I was I was up for it I was up for it and I still am up for it but it's in my style and my format right with, with Because there's, if I'm a prophet and I'm hearing from God, right? You're going to let me do my thing. You're going to say, well, just no swearing. <laughs> What's the topic? You know, so that we can prepare our, our slides or whatever it is. Uh, or we can prepare our, our pamphlets and our handouts. And that's, that's, that's enough respect to say we trust you. We trust the Lord because he has chosen you, Juwani. The Lord has chosen you. I know who I am. I know what God made me to be. And this, and I have to ask God, God, why do you want me to walk so humble? Every time I walk so humble, it's like everyone wants to shit on me. But let me, God, please let me get let let me stunt on them in Your holy name, Amen. Please, Lord. He said, "Go preach the kingdom of God. I'm gonna handle it." Something, something's about to happen for somebody and I don't feel bad why? why do not feel bad? love those that love you love those that love you from now on when I see a nasty comment especially on YouTube on, on TikTok Instagram I had to for, there was a season where I had to shut that down someone sent some serious bots to send hate just blocked I'm not going to sit here and allow people to think this is a platform. You're offended. You better go fix that. Adios, right? And then shall many be offended. But that same person who's offended and shall betray one another. Because they don't know themselves. Look at that. And shall hate one another. They shall betray one another and they shall hate one another. And in that, guess what? And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Mm, the truth. It, it, did the truth really irk you this bad? Did seeing someone this special and this great irk you this bad? Dang, that's sad. That's sad. But don't feel bad for them. Love those that love you. These people do not have a covenant with God. These people praise. What is this? That's a kingdom of darkness. Right? How, how shall the, the house of Satan stand when they're going to tear limb to limb at one another? They're going to betray one another. They're going to hate one another. 
So blessed are you for not being offended by me. Blessed are you for being here. Blessed are you for hearing the word of the Lord. Blessed are you for being able to tolerate the truth in your spirit. Glory to God. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall come the end. <laughs> and then shall the end come. I'm sorry. And then shall the end come. And this is, I got this the other day, and I didn't read it. It's bookmarked. And what does it say? It's, hold on. it's a bookmark somewhere. An end is come in Ezekiel 8. Glory to God. Look at how it all syncs up. Go preach the kingdom of God. All right, Lord, if you're going to handle it. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So let's go to the end. Because this was, this was a message. And the message that I got from God. So I kept it to myself. And I'm just going to read you 8.3 in Ezekiel. And it says, And he put forth the form of a hand, and took me by a lock of mine head. And the Spirit lift me up between the earth and the heaven, and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north. Where was, where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh, to jealousy what did I say today the Lord said don't provoke that someone provoked him to anger someone provoked him to wrath out of jealousy <sighs> why and I asked God why why God like God answers me and then Holy Spirit comes through and then boom the vision comes tunnel vision I get to see the words they're highlighted they stand out everything else will blur I will hear in the spirit. There's so many different. This is so. There's so much more supernatural when you're a prophet of God. And it says, as for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty. But they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore, I have set it far from them. Johnny, I put you apart, and their jealousy, their their seat. Where was the seat of? the image of jealousy which provoketh to jealousy as for the beauty of his ornament I'm God's ornament God made me this way amen he said it in majesty the Lord crowned me the Lord brought me up the Lord gave me this spiritual gift Go preach the kingdom. Go preach the things I have shown you. Go show your beauty to the world. Go clean yourself up. Go, go. And you know, because, right, because, uh, because now I like this new version of me, right? Like I'm not overweight. I'm not underweight. Um, I would like my hair to be a little bit more, a little bit healthier. That's for sure. But it feels good. It feels good. There's nothing worse in here that feels like, ugh. but, <laughs> right? My teeth are white. Like, it, I love getting ready for the day. Like, I, I don't mind doing my hair and makeup. Like, it, I, I'm excited to do it. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty. And guess what? But, but they, right? These, these people the people the nations made the images of their abominations you made it known to God God can read your heart and because God gives me visions I he lets me see and of their detestable things they're in detestable evil the cruelness in their hearts their afflictions
their afflictions, detestable things. Therefore, I have set it far from them. I could care less about being in your presence. You don't deserve to be in my graces. Amen. This is, this is exactly why God is preparing me. God is preparing me. God is preparing me. God is preparing me for something greater. And he's also preparing me that when someone wants smoke, when someone wants beef, when someone... He... He already said people are going to pull out their cameras and they're going to try to catch you in things. People are going to slander your name and people, Johnny, people don't like you because they don't like God. Not liking you is to not like God. To, to not like the fact that God wants you to be, to be the best version of you. And sometimes I, I see your messages. You guys, you guys send me, send me, um, DMs, which I don't, I don't go in there often. And sometimes if I'm bored... I might, but I try not to because y'all crazy. Y'all y'all got some serious issues. Not like like uh there's a lot of like sexual demons on there or people will try to send like witchcraft. Witchcraft through there. Or links or something, you know. So it's nice that it, it's blocked off, but at least for the most part, you guys tell me, Hey, I, I, I don't I know I got a good job, you know, I'm prospering and sometimes I'm like, yo, I wish I could write back. But you don't understand that I prayed for you, like glory to God. Glory to God that God gave you another chance. Glory to God that you found my channel inspirational. Glory to God that you coming upon this ministry gave you hope. And like, y'all don't understand how much like it keeps me going sometimes. Like, it made a difference. It made a difference. It made a difference. It gave someone that clarity. So the, the Lord is also preparing me. Therefore, I have set it far from them. Your beauty should not be around these testable people and I don't want to I don't want to be I don't want to be petty either right like you can't I, I've always said this I've always said this being around ugly people because not everyone in the world is one percent you know beauty star beautiful uh pageant queen gorgeous not everyone has the, the symmetry and the qualities uh to be Miss Universe to that extent <laughs> but when people see that kind of beauty there's really ugly people who start to hate who start to attack why because you're pretty and they start making assumptions i'm telling you be ha, ha, being having beauty is a curse <sighs> like god why'd you curse me with such beauty to the point where people hate me for it where to the point where 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 people put roadblocks in my path like oh it's because you're a woman oh it's because you're a girl oh it's because you're pretty oh it's because you're beautiful and people spite me people spite me and i have to work that much harder and then what happens when i'm beautiful and i beat you at your own game and i work that much harder mm. people's tails start going in between their legs people start putting their head down and they can't make eye contact the Lord is the Lord has been preparing me now that when someone <laughs> I have set them far therefore I have set it far from them I removed you from here let me handle it you know what that is for someone to withhold your money your paycheck right like uh I have bills to pay hello I have business expenses to keep running right but this is an attack this is an affliction from envious people especially when you give them a solution they will burn i'm not lying they will burn i and it 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 pains me to say that because you had a chance repent to god find lord jesus because you have no idea you have no idea what you're causing especially when the hand of the lord fell upon me glory to god and that here it is an end is come and it came to pass in the sixth year in the sixth month in the fifth day of the month as I sat in mine house and the elders of Judah sat before me that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me look at that the elders it didn't fall upon the, the hand didn't fall upon the elders the hand fell upon me glory to God then I beheld and lo a likeness as the appearance of fire from the appearance of his lions even downward fire and from his lions even upward as the appearance of brightness as the color 
of amber. That's, that's the Lord. And he put forth, he put forth the form of a hand. That's God's aura shining around me, right? That's, that's it radiating through me. And he put forth the form of a hand and took me by a lock of mine head. And the spirit lift me up between the earth and the heaven. And this is the next scripture that I'm going to get into the vision God gave me. And the spirit lift me up between the earth and the heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner, inner gate that looketh toward the north. Look up to the sky, look north. Where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy? And behold, the glory of God of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain. Then he said unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes now, the way towards the north. So I lift up my eyes, the way towards the north. And behold, northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. He said furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what, that, what they do? Even, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but I turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. Jealousy. There, there was something either in Proverbs or in Psalms, and it said that that jealousy is jealousy is the utter destruction of man. So, something along those lines. The, the how, how dangerous it is for someone to entertain jealousy will have you killed and and these are here's the thing right someone who's jealous is not going to come up to you and say I'm so jealous of you that you have this no 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 jealousy right you you would never say you would never really admit in your in out loud I despise and I can't believe you have that and I don't I can't believe God chose you and he didn't choose me. I can't believe that everyone wants your attention and not mine. You're not gonna, no no one's actually gonna say that out loud. You'll be like, dude, why are you being such a crybaby, right? Dude, <laughs> grab your nuts, <laughs> keep it moving, right? Like it's not, you. like it ain't you. And, and pe that, that person would actually get casted further out for for exposing right such jealousy such such a tantrum no one wants to be around that kind of energy right but guess what it'll get it you'll see greater abominations it'll get worse it's a greater abomination for someone to to the full extent to stop your money flow for someone to gather a bunch of people to talk about you for someone to someone who is jealous this is exactly why God told me to move in a, in a very uh, it, you have to move in it, you have to be very safe drawing the, the level of jealousy people will kill for jealousy they won't say it they won't say it they'll, they'll, they'll set traps before you they're jealous because especially the elders it's, it's the it's it's a, a lot of jealousy from the elders from people who are older you you're washed up <laughs> i pray that when i get to that age and i see someone on the come up that i'm like dang oh, god's hands on them amen <laughs> like god has something for this generation glory to god right like maybe you should be more concerned about about doing you and your generation right like what y'all old elders are are doing but no and God told me specifically to, to, to move in a very, very safe manner to the point where I was like, I was being lured for my business and I could tell, I could tell I was being lured, lured to, to certain, uh, by certain phone calls or um, certain clients who would submit an inquiry of some kind. And I was like, no, nah, I know my job. I know the law. I know the rule. Like, no, this ain't, this ain't it something something doesn't seem right here this is this is uh and they'll use fake profiles to do it and guess what happens if they get me in that location what do you think it's a greater abomination of what they will do to me 
So now, glory to God, my new office, which I'm going to talk about, which is more than okay, as soon as the funding comes in, my new office has security cameras everywhere. I have front desk staff. They will escort you back to my office. Everything is appointment based, even if it's a walk in, it's appointment based. You might walk in, but you still have to check in with front staff. Um, there's the just the level of security, even at a, at a certain like clock, like time, like a clock, boom, shut down. All the all the doors just shut down. It, it's complete like automatic building lockdown. And if you don't have a key, if you don't have a specific key, you cannot get in. We have security on the premises. Um, it, it's, it's really safe. And that's when I was like, thank you, Lord. God delivered me this place so that I can conduct business for the kingdom of God. Because that's how much these people are jealous. And it's, it comes from the elders, right? Like, um, and it's, it's actually really affordable. It's really affordable, but um, not everyone's allowed in. Like, you have to apply and you have to be a... I would honestly say, like, a, a prestigious... Uh, you have to be part of, like, a prestigious network, right? It's not like anyone can just come in and do it, right? Like, you have to have favor. Like, okay, we want you to be part of our executive office. Thanks. Glad to be here. Now, when you get up that high and someone who is, like, 60 years old and... Uh, freaking sloth bag and is not they see you prospering they see you doing your thing oh they can't stand that some of them cannot their spirit is so foul and so what makes you think you're so much better bitch because i am <laughs> well, don't make you know, don't make me slap your grandma but we don't fight against like this is it this is a demon this is this is evil it's the elders and this is exactly why god's hand is not upon you this is exactly why God's hand is not upon you. And to, for the Lord to give me such a safe and secure place. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Now it's just getting the funds to come in. Because uh, originally a place like that would cost would cost a good chunk of change. And then for them to hear my story and say, nah, like we know that having you around is going to build up our our, our clientele our business people are going to see like what other things we have going on here now we want you you're here just let us know when, when you get the money you come back you let us know wow god wow god they're so re really god that's what the favor of the lord is especially when when i tell them like i'm telling them the truth like hey i'm young i'm pretty i'm, I'm determined i'm driven and like everything i do is top notch i, I can't fumble and I'm going to need X, Y, Z. I'm going to need these parameters in place. They were all with it. They understood young, pretty girl, making moves, making money. We got you. We got you. You're good. That's the favor of God. That those, those are saints. Those are people who believe that there is a God out there. Glory to God. So be, be very careful of your thou shall see greater greater abominations and he brought me to the door of the court and when I looked behold a hole in the wall then he said he said unto me son of man dig now in the wall and when I had digged in the wall behold a door and he said unto me go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here so I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beast, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Jazaniah, the son of, of Stephan, with every man his censer in his hand, a thick cloud of incense went up. Then he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chamber of his imagery, for they say, The Lord seeth us not, 
the Lord hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Then said he unto me, Then he then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. Then he said unto me, Has thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore, I, will I also deal in fury. Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. Even though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. And then after that, it's the slaughter of the idolaters. God. That's what's in these people's hearts. Praising the sun god. And today, I don't know if you guys saw, we're in, I'm in Maryland, and the, the sun was red. It was just all red. And it says that uh, the Pharisees, the Pharisees want a sign. And these people are turning their backs towards the throne of God to worship the sun. Something about this generation will not get a sign until until Jonas and then I got the scripture and behold something greater but before before this there was Solomon and now after Solomon there was something greater which was Jonas and behold now there is something greater than Jonas it is here I can't find it we'll be here all day I'm not trying to be here all day. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm pissed. I'm, I'm bothered clearly. So, me listening to God, what did he say? He said, let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Alright God, if you got this, if you got this, I have faith. They're praising the sun god, they're praising false idols. They're praising beast. Um, that's where their their jealousy comes from. Here, I, I was gonna tell you that that uh, there's a oh, and they're they're all around. They're like all around you. They're all around the wall. That's why you legion was the word specifically. They're a, they're a legion of demons. Peace. Leave. I cast you out in Jesus' name. Flee. Flee from me. Amen. Specifically that it was legion. And oh, I'm going to tell you about the last vision that I got. And it's, uh, I had to ask God, why was he making me read the, the death of Joseph? Why? Specifically, he gave me a vision about his burial, about the kingdom of heaven. <sighs> and I'm going to tell you what matters, but since I can see what you guys can't, I'm going to tell you that when I asked God, I was like, God, I don't want to see these beasts. I don't want to see these demons. You got to understand they don't look like anything of this world, right? They don't, 
That's what catches you off guard. What catches you off guard is the fact that they don't look like anything of this world. And and that's that's the thing about these people being vessels for Satan. Vest like Satan can come in the form of a man. Shake your hand, offer you a deal, make it seem like, yeah, we're we're we're, we're gonna work together. We're gonna be Gucci. We're gonna be good. And little do you know, that man is coming in to tear up everything you got. That man is there to make false promises. That man knows that's a that's a crazy thing too. That Satan knows, like, uh, you know, I'll give you this much money to hold you over. And this is exactly why you have to settle. Settle for the promise of God. That was the word. Settle for the promise of God. And these people are... which go after whoring after their idols like people who are groupies you ever dealt with a, uh, uh, you ever dealt with jealous groupies you know what that is women who'll do anything or like guys who will do anything for like a, a woman but they won't do anything for their wife that's evil that's evil um like lust 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 and that's why I, like satan couldn't use me satan couldn't use me for his kingdom right satan couldn't use me like oh i can't i can't use joanie to lure in men and break up families right like she she would have been the perfect one to use and then i would have destroyed her too you know and no i work for god 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 and that's why that's why because I chose the righteous path and not to say that I don't want to look sexy or be beautiful or anything like that but it's just because I I've decided nah I'm gonna go to school nah I'm not gonna be a stripper nah I'm not gonna and don't think I don't want to have fun but I just know that there are there are things tied to that lifestyle Especially like working for the kingdom that you'll never live down. I'll do a tasteful photo shoot. Yeah, I'll do something sexy. But to do something raunchy. To, you know, to to jeopardize my future in that manner. Nah. Right? Where people don't want to be associated with you. Because all of a sudden like, oh, you did, you did X, Y, and Z. Or you can't be around... You can't be around the kids because there's porno of you all over the place. Like, no, no, no. Joanny, Joanny literally crawled out of the depths of hell. Kept her nose in the books. Worked super hard. And as many times as it was, as many times that it was like offered to me. And it seemed like the easy way out. No. Satan cannot have me. Satan cannot have me. Satan cannot have me. It, 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 it hurts even worse. And what angels keep saying is that there's a spirit called Leviathan. And this this is a... There's a Leviathan and there's a Jezebel. They, they still work for, for Satan either way. And what they do is they like to destroy marriages. Right? Through lust, through beauty, through lies, through confusion. Through Satan. And to know that I gave my everything, eight, eight years of my life, eight years of my life dedicated to my marriage, because I thought that was forever, right? If I, I just know I'm Roman Catholic, that's how we're raised, it's forever's forever, we're stuck forever. And then I realized, like, nah, this ain't forever, this is hell. This is, this is hell. And now that I'm, like, on my own, Ooh, Satan's trying so hard. You know what? If I could stop her money flow, I'm gonna get her to I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her to cave in and settle for me instead of settle for what God has for her. Settle for the promise of God. And it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. There's gonna be a lot of afflictions. Don't think it's easy. What did I just say? 
the roadblocks, people lying on my name, people slandering me, the, the abominations of jealousy. And these people are willingly, if they knew, if they could see the, the vessel, if they could see like that they're a vessel and they don't they, they're choosing not like to not be pure in their heart to carry the light of Christ and to know the beast the animal just I can't oh it's disgusting to allow that thing to enter you and to know that at one point I was unclean but my heart was like no I know God no I'm doing my best like if this is if this is the way that my the generations right I'm a holy nation the generations of my, my family have said time and time again like no we're Christian no God is real no Papa Dios like that's how they say Papa Dios he sees everything like yeah yeah whatever and then I meet him and I see heaven and he's real but like I had to have faith right that my if this is what everyone in my family says my grandma my grandpa my cousins my aunts my my great grandma, my great uncles, right? Uh, the in-laws. If this, if every extension of my family, we might not agree with one another. We might be dysfunctional as f, you know, as can be. But, but to know that we can all acknowledge that there is a God, and that that God had a son named Jesus Christ, and that one way somehow, because at the time, right, I couldn't see him. He works. I guess. Hey, come to the church walk. We're gonna go pro go walk for a protest, like a march. I don't know, like five blocks. And I'm like, yo, it's like it's like ninety degrees summertime and you got all these old people from church walking like four miles, like they gonna pass out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, I guess I'll go. Sorry. F it, I guess I'll go. And then all of a sudden, the the mayor of the city just decided, like, oh, there's this is serious. They about to march down here and f me up. <laughs> and they brought their grand, they brought their grandchildren, blah blah blah. Like they got their petition approved, right? And like the church makes things happen. And at the time, I was like, this is, I guess, I guess if that's God, how, like if that's how God wants to work. If I guess if like that's what all these people are saying. But the, the thing is that Chu believed and like, even though you can't see him, God sees that. He understands, right? You can't believe, they say seeing is believing, but that's not faith. And even then you followed the ways of your ancestors, right? You followed the ways of the congregation, especially of the Roman Catholic Church specifically, all right? If there's one thing we all knew is that God has a son. And here's the thing, you cannot, de if you deny anything about the sun, anything about the sun, oh, well, I don't think that's correct. Oh, I don't think, I don't believe in Mother Mary, that's Satan. Then how the, how, how was the spirit mani manif manifested flesh? He was conceived, the Holy Spirit conceived into Mary, Virgin Mary, and she bore a son. And she was told to call him what? Yeshua, Yehovah, Jesus. You just, all right, fine. If that's what y'all say, then I guess that's what it is. But like, I gotta keep doing me, right? I can't see him. And now I can see him. And I'm here to tell you that he's real. And that's what God wants you to know. That's what God wants you to see. Just the faith of a mustard seed to know that your ancestors aren't lying to you. Just the faith of a mustard seed. That's it that's it so that you don't become a vessel for what's on the other side so if God's telling you to do something if God's telling you to give if God's telling you to to even sometimes God brings me to certain people not for money for a resource hey God brought me unto you and I need this from you do you know anyone who could do that actually I do oh thank you bam guidance right you didn't it didn't cost you anything i i love how someone else said it today too give this video a like a like doesn't cost you anything you're enjoying the message you're getting the interpretation from god you're getting the uplifting message from the lord just give it a like it's not costing you anything glory 
to God, right? Like not everything the Lord asks you to do, but it's important, right? Like I didn't know, like, you know what? I know the right thing to do is to be here at the church walk. 90 degree weather, I guess we'll go run a 5K for this petition that I don't even know about. But if it's the church, then I have faith that it's probably something that they really need. Or I don't think they would really, like, they would desperately call all these old people <laughs> to go walk this 5K march. Right? Like, it's just doing the right thing. And that's that's what the that's what God wants to see. That's that's how God is testing your heart. That's that's when you can't see God, when you're not a prophet, when you're not a priest, when you can't hear and you're when you, you pray and you close your eyes and it's dark and it's black. And you don't hear from God. Walk away knowing that like nah I watched Joanne and Joanne said Joanne the prophet, Sister Joanne. Alright, Sister Joanne, Sister of Christ, said that. He is listening. He is listening to your prayer. Now you can cut the line. And you can go to a priest. Because I was the last and now I'm the first. Glory to God. I don't have to wait for instruction. I don't have to I don't have to wait for the, the promise to come through. You just have to close your like boom. God said this. It really is amazing. But I'm gonna tell you it's a lonely walk. It's a lonely walk because if everyone were priests if everyone was in the presence of the Lord why would why would why would we need to worship everyone would just treat them as like you're just here right you think you would take them for granted more than you know so when you go to close your eyes and you pray and it's black and it's silent and you don't hear anything back and you're like am I gonna hear a voice you know how many times I got on my knees and I used to pray I heard nothing nothing I would hear my own voice come through come through come through God God if you're real come through God please if you're hearing this give me a message God please stop this God, it can't be, God, there has to be something better. God, this can't be, like, this can't be my life. And you hear nothing. You hear nothing. I feel you. I get it. I understand. But that's not me anymore. Now I can actually hear him. Now I can actually just open the Bible and he'll send the Holy Spirit and I'll pick up the sign. But you do need to know that. That that's all he's looking for. For you just to do the right thing. To follow in the path of your ancestors. To believe in him. That he heard your message. But you can't deny anything of the son. You can't deny. You can't deny any of his works. You can't deny anything that he's done. You can't deny his entry into the world. You can't deny that he, he didn't rise from the dead. You can't deny. You, you can't deny anything about him. And when you ask me, what, what is the most famous miracle? And it's just like, I don't know, walking on water seems pretty badass, right? <laughs> or the fact that he just was lifted up by two angels into the sky. Basically, he flew, <laughs> right? Or I don't know, maybe the fact that he rose from the dead ah shit sorry like that's impressive right like <laughs> you guys don't like you guys you gotta pick your favorite miracle like dang people were hungry and you straight up just said what do we have left and you close your eyes and you ask father god you ask father god father god for the power to multiply and you gotta understand that these these were this was bread that was you know what it takes to make bread if you I love making bread right but you have to let the dough sit rise you have to let it uh, 
like a proof or raise twice twice and then you have to stretch it again and the bread was just ready ready to go ready to eat that's amazing that's amazing you know fish have a pulse right and he made all these fish he duplicated fish a pulse out of just copy and paste copy and paste control copy Co control all control copy control all control copy control paste 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 bam pick your favorite miracle that that man worked Woo. and then to know to know that that man that man, he's a man, all right? That that man has his hand upon my life, upon me. That that man has refined me to be beautiful, to be smart, to be elegant, to be spicy. Ooh, like <laughs> to be unique in his kingdom, to, to lead souls back to heaven and to have, to have all these people who have never gotten on their knees, to have all these people who say they believe but they can't they can't stand to clap for anybody else to have all these people come against me so hard and i've i've heard so many stories of women i i hear a lot of stories of other women of men who try to break down women and those are men who don't feel superior now, what happens when a female becomes superior in Christ? I've received a lot of hate for that too. And the truth is, is that my counterpart will be superior in Christ as well. And he will have nothing to be jealous of. Glory to God. So, it's, it's just insane. It's insane, it's insane, it's insane. Why did God have to bring me up this high? because they wanted to bring you down that low so understand whenever someone's trying to pull you down when someone's trying to block you when someone's trying to do things against you and you gotta understand for my safety this is my safety my livelihood just the amount of attacks They provoked him to wrath. I said it again today. It's insane. Therefore will I also deal in fury. My eye shall not spare. Neither will I have pity. Don't feel bad. If the Lord doesn't feel bad, you shouldn't feel bad. Now, if the Lord feels bad and the, the Lord's like, dang, man, this person's trying. Damn, this person's trying to find God. Like, this person's trying to get better. Why would you, why would you kick them while they're down? Then what I'm getting specifically is like when someone's an alcoholic and like sometimes some people will say, oh, you need Jesus. Yeah, that's exactly actually who he needs. <laughs> no joke. But don't sit here and mock Jesus and like what he can and can't do. Because someone who is a struggling alcoholic who turned to Christ will be more powerful. Will be more powerful to put that down, to cast out Satan. I had to tell this one specific guy. Hey, you keep saying that you're not recovered, but from what I can see, you are. And um, I told him, you're going to save a lot of souls as long as you're doing it in Christ. Like, you can't redeem these souls, but I, you know now, now you know someone who can, and that's who? Lord Jesus. And you got to understand that he was telling me about his these guys who uh, they go into uh, some kind of I don't know, some kind of, uh, some house to get them, like, clean. Some kind of program. And you gotta understand that these guys don't even have, like, checking accounts. So they're trying to get jobs, right? Like, they don't even have clothes. They don't have, uh... They, they don't know how to work in the world because Satan has had them, right? Like, drinking. And what does drinking do? 
it impairs your your train of thought right and like that's a vice for the devil you can make some really bad decisions while you're while you're impaired while you're drunk that's why if you can't drink responsibly then it's not for you and that's what satan will use and like you you don't know you have no idea the Lord, the Lord hears certain cries, but the cries of the wicked, the cries of someone in jealousy, who is praising, who is idolatry, who is praising the sun. I saw the sun today. I was like, God, God, what are you doing? God, what is the sun? God, why is the sun red like that? Lord, what are you, what are you trying to say? And then it came to me, the Pharisees, the Pharisees, the Pharisees. For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger. You know, how, how, did they, how did they return to provoke him to anger? Because they went against his chosen. Because they went against his ornament. Because they went against his creation. Because they went against someone who was just preaching the kingdom of God. This world is... Uh, we're at the end. This is an end is come. And lo, they have put the branch to their nose. Hold on. A ceremonial gesture in nature worship not documented elsewhere in the Bible. A ceremonial gesture. In nature worship. Oh, these are tree huggers. And lo, they have put the branch to their nose. <laughs> you know what I say, the planeteers. We're the planeteers, and saving our planet is the thing to do. <laughs> and they commit abominations. I'm telling you, this world is. But you're going to see greater and greater. You got to trust God. Therefore, will I also deal in fury. The Lord's, whoo, that, that's why the sun was blazing hot red today. I'm telling, I, I saw it. And I was like, God, what are you trying to tell me? And then I, I got so angry when I was like, God, there's nothing I can do. God, my hands are tied. Watch this. Go do you. Go preach the kingdom. If the Lord had to get off his throne. Mm. about to happen and they're gonna cry they're gonna cry they're gonna cry they're gonna cry but guess what sometimes you can't cry to man you gotta cry it to God and if God hears your voice and then the same people who cry it to God and they don't hear from God they're gonna start cursing God and that's what 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 did I say about prayer you're not gonna hear him you're gonna close your eyes it's gonna be black you're gonna question Lord, are you, do you hear me? Lord, can you say something? Nothing. And you gotta go find your confirmation. You gotta go keep walking day to day. You understand that I died to get this? You understand that I was cru like crucified in the spirit? vision of heaven the temple when you I, I know that like when I'm at the gate of heaven like my spirit can come in and out I know it sounds like a very odd thing for but you you, you know you have to know that there's a heaven and a hell and I have access to heaven and it's like I can see other angels, others, like, we we can, we can walk in and out of heaven, okay? We can walk in and out of heaven. And there is a, a it's like a, a gatekeeper. There's a gatekeeper at the top. <sighs> Don't worry so much about having money in your bank account. So much to say. Why? 
because your resting place like your tomb like the property you own like your house your 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 spirit knows that that's that that's that's your home all right why do you think like their spirits like oh my grandma's here and like grandma died but she knows her house right especially if she's a christian and like you can see certain things like a poltergeist like certain things move around but now i, I see them i can see ghosts I can, I can see the dead i can see i can see the demons i, I can see the angels and the truth is, is that if you really are a true angel, you're going to be radiating in white. I'm going to be able to recognize your aura because I've seen Christ. I've seen my angels. Um, and, and for the most part, for the most part, what did I say? The angels glide, right? My angel, my guardian angel glide. They don't touch this filthy earth, all right? So understand that Satan can also come as an angel in the light. And I'm giving you that discernment. That if a spirit comes to you walking in white, they always say it in Puerto Rico, that if you're driving at nighttime because it's pitch black out there, Lord God, Lord Jesus, protect us, that that's the devil. If a woman covered in white, she has black hair, comes to you and you're driving in Puerto Rico, do not stop the car. Keep going. She is the devil. All right. And now I know this to be true. I know this to be true, especially because there's a lot of nations that are dabbled in witchcraft. I can tell you and affirm to you, this is true. The angels, the true angels do not touch this filthy earth. All right. There's right. We have chosen to come back in the flesh for the Lord, for his kingdom. I've been chosen for this, right? I was predestined for this. I knew you, I knew thee before you were in the womb, all right? God chose me before anything else. And I'm going to tell you that we don't, when I say walking up and down, like into the, into the kingdom, into the gates, we glide. Now, the fake angels walk the earth and they want to tell you it's not like that. That's why when it says that the angel sat on the sepulchre and rolled the stone of the Lord, it's true. They're strong. It's, it's, uh, I'm going to tell you, just, I'm, I'm trying to tell you how to discern Satan, because as much as you are a believer of Christ, if you don't know these things, how can you, how can you, like, oh, I saw this, this super white, white angel came to me, blah, 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 we have angels in the flesh, right, we have holy angels in the flesh, we have saints, but and, and prophets and priests but what I'm going to tell you is that if you can't tell that you saw this ghostly figure super white and it was like almost flesh that was Satan the angels do not touch this earth the angels do not touch this filthy earth the angels are so bright you can't even look at it it's like alien invasion it's like this like because it's so bright And that's why some people can see God radiating through me. Especially like when I smile and I'm happy and the lights is coming through. And that's God. Like, hmm, there's something about you. Hmm, yeah, that's God. That's God. That's God. Now, the death of Joseph. And Joseph dwelt in Egypt, he and his father's house, and Joseph lived 110 years. And Joseph saw Ephraim's children of the third generation. The children also of Machir and the son of Manasseh were brought upon Joseph's knees as he's dying, right? And Joseph said unto his brethren, I die and God will surely visit you. Look at that. That's ancestry. That's lineage, right? Part of my, my family, we belong to God. God will visit you. Especially for my kiddos. Emilio, Melani, my future kids. Because I'm bound to have another, a few other, amen. <laughs> God will visit you. God will surely visit you. And bring you out of this land unto the land which he swore to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob. 
And Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones from hence. So Joseph died, being an hundred and ten years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. Look at that. He was put in a coffin in Egypt. And what do we know about the Egyptians and their sacrifice, like how, how they were buried? That they were preparing what? For the next life. And what, what do you have to know if I have everlasting life? That my burial, that my coffin, you have to know, right? The coffins in Egypt were prestigious, right? They were... Uh, they were of, of high, high honor, right? They, they were in, in, in specific tombs with, with things prepared for them to carry into the, right? So what I'm telling you is don't worry about how much money you have in your bank account, per se. I mean, I know we need money. Believe that. But what I'm telling you is like the way God showed it to me is that you're going to need a, um, it's like where you dwell, where, where your body's going to dwell right whether that's a home what did I just say grandma right grandma who we believe has everlasting life and she's trying to let you know like now nah, I'm here this is a grandma's house and that's how you sell the house and like yo this house is haunted <laughs> so that, that's just that's just me letting you know that's the vision I got and they embalmed him and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. And I know that Joseph has everlasting life. I know that he serves God. I know that he believes in what the Messiah to come. And now that we receive the Messiah, amen. Now that we receive the Christ, amen, Lord Jesus. And he gave me that vision. Your burial is going to be a very, very special place. And why? And it wasn't so much either like a, a certain burial, but like it's like a the house, the house that that you the next house that you buy, like the next property or land that I give you. You need to understand that as you enter heaven, right, on earth as it is in heaven, you need to build that now while you're on earth, so that when you pass, when you're like 110 years old, you know when to come back, you know where to come back to. Instead of just trying to roam the earth. But to be honest. And it's why. why? Because don't think right. Like I call on my grandparents. For help. I call on my, my deceased. If I can see the dead. Wouldn't I call the angels? Wouldn't I call Archangel Michael? The most powerful angel of the Lord. In battle. Who is given the, the, the power of God to thrust a sword against Satan. To defend, to protect the, all the other angels. To make sure that we don't become fallen angels. To make sure that we stay. My prayer is so powerful you don't even understand. And why? Why is my prayer getting more and more and more powerful? Because the world is becoming more and more wicked. And I am not like everyone in the world. I've found very few people. But that will change soon enough. And I'm, I'm grateful to God that God has made me this pure and this beautiful. And this holy. Hmm. So that, that's all I have for you. That was the kingdom. That's some visions and part of the kingdom of God. An end is come. Um, and that was Ezekiel 8. An end is come. An end is here. I'm going to post the sun, which was beautiful today. And that was God. And that was for the Pharisees. Because he wants to see who was praising the sun God. Oh, the sun. 
no you need to the the the, the proper son you need to worship his name is jesus <laughs> The proper son that y'all need to be like clapping for is the Lord. Amen. So, all right, we're going to close this out in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you guys. All right, bye-bye.